to all of those who have said, once I get married, I won't need pornography anymore. All I need to do is get married. Why would you watch porn or masturbate when you're married? That's stupid. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Way of life as cute. Even in hunted. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned until the end of this video because if you or someone that you love is addicted to pornography or masturbation, I'll be providing you with a resource for an eight step completely anonymous program to help you get rid of this bad, ugly habit for life. Today we're bringing you another episode of Ask SQ. You ask, I respond, that's how this thing goes. And today we have a very interesting question that was sent to me in my Instagram DMs. Before I talk to you about how the sister's marriage is being broken up by pornography, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up so that YouTube can actually promote such positive content and more people can see this who need the help. And before I forget, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. My husband and I are on the brink of divorce. We've only been married eight months and he's giving up already. He suffers from a porn addiction and it has made me insecure. I mean, hang on a second. Why wouldn't you be insecure? Do you see what those women are able to do? It's like they're not even human. They bend and fold in all these types of ways that looks like you're watching a science fiction movie. And not to mention that the women who they cast are the perfect shape and size that they know that their specific targeted audience would even like. They track and see the habits of men and they give them the exact women that they would be into. So girl, your insecurities are completely validated. I mean, you're competing against unreal expectations and paid actors who are doing their job. And as much as I feel for you right now, and it definitely is destroying your marriage, I want to let you know that unfortunately, this isn't about you. Usually I'd recommend some marriage counseling between you two, but I promise you that's not what is needed at this moment. What he really needs right now is counseling for his addiction. They're crying for help, yet they're so embarrassed that they don't know who to ask and how to ask for this support. I know you feel totally insecure and helpless to be honest, but this isn't about you. This is about his addiction and quite frankly, his sickness. He has some type of trauma and he's using pornography as a coping mechanism. Addiction to pornography is essentially a sickness and a disease that a person is struggling with. Pornography and masturbations are habits that carry over even into marriages and till this day, marriages are being broken up because of these two addictions. To all of those who have said, once I get married, I won't need pornography anymore. All I need to do is get married. Why would you watch porn or masturbate when you're married? That's stupid. You clearly don't know what you're talking about. Listen, no one ever watches pornography and feels great about themselves. In fact, they feel absolutely terrible about themselves. And quite honest, they just feel ashamed. No one's ever said, you know, I just did some haram and I feel fantastic. In fact, he and many others feel ashamed of themselves and it lowers their self-esteem and self-worth. It's a problem for him that unfortunately he has been unable to solve. He has an on-demand virtual tool that he can get pleasure from anytime and anywhere that he would want and that's what's causing a ton of problems in your marriage. We've been separated for two months now and he wants a divorce. And let me tell you, the reason he wants that is not because you're not satisfying him or anything like that. It's really a self guilt, loathing, and just straight up ashamed of himself. But I'm not ready to give up and I need someone to knock some sense into him. Well, sister, you and many others are in luck. That's why I've teamed up with my Tezkiah who provide live coaching and lifetime support to help people through their pornography and masturbation addictions. It's a Muslim organization that has specialized in understanding how pornography addictions are developed and how to successfully remove them through an eight step recovery program. Alhamdulillah, their eight step program has helped so many people, married and single, become sober from their pornography addiction. With online coaching and life support, this is a no-brainer. So please, if you or someone that you love is dealing with pornography or masturbation addictions, I want you to click the link in my description below and I want you to check out their site and sign up for their program to help you get rid of this disgusting habit. So once again, that's mytezkia.com. They provide live coaching and lifetime support for all of us who are addicted with pornography 
and masturbation to help you get rid of this bad habits. Well, that was the advice, guys. Tell me in the comment section below, how would you advise this person? Make a du'a for this person, their marriage, and everyone else who is suffering with pornography addictions and masturbation addictions in the comment section below. Please don't forget to smash this video with a huge thumbs up because this allows the YouTube algorithm to promote such positive content to those who need it the most. And of course, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing by hitting this button right here. Take a look at my previous videos by watching one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm out.